What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're back with the weekly reset preview for Destiny 2 on November 1st, and this is going to be the final week of this year's Festival of the Lost. Plus, we're into the last month or so of Season 18, and so this week there's a new hotfix, but also we'll cover the Eververse inventory with some juicy festival items available this final week. And additionally, we'll go over core activities including raids, nightfalls, and crucible, as well as any key rewards for the week. And so as always, I hope you find the breakdown helpful. But before we get into it, guys, today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets, the ultimate highly durable, sleek and low profile wallet on the market. The Ridge is a unique wallet that can store up to 12 cards, as well as cash in a small form factor, which is sturdy and secure with RFID blocking technology, which helps protect against digital pickpockets. Even better though, they have loads of different styles to choose from, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium and various colors with a central space to store cards which can easily be popped out for use at any time. But they also include a cash strap to store notes and bills, replacing your hefty old wallet with something stylish and easy to carry. On top of this though, Ridge have been expanding their collection and innovation into a new key case which takes the same principles as the Ridge wallet, but applies them to your key ring with this kind of multi-tool style storage that allows us to lock our keys into this small form case, reducing the chances of losing a key and compacting them into a more ergonomic shape for easy carrying. Ridge key cases come in the same awesome designs as their wallets, I've got a forged ember one right right here which is carbon with this cool red fleck in the finish. Additionally though, Ridge have some other awesome accessories including this stonewashed titanium bottle opener. It has these extra spanners built into it which is really cool and they fit perfectly into any Ridge wallet. So whether you need a new wallet, a matching key case or other accessories, Ridge have some of the coolest practical and stylish hardware available and right now you can save 10% in the store by heading to ridge.com forward slash houndish and using code houndish at checkout. They're perfect for yourself or as a gift this season and I absolutely recommend that you check out Ridge linked below. Now though, as we get into the weekly reset stuff for Destiny 2, this week the Festival of the Lost continues, but we are into the final week, so if you're working on the title or collecting any festival rewards, we're in the last few days of the year where they can be completed. We'll also cover the Eververse inventory with a bunch of festival items in a moment. But additionally this week, before we get into gameplay stuff, we are going to see another hotfix for Destiny 2. And so this will be hotfix 6252, and it will drop immediately on weekly reset, but in terms of what changes we'll get, I'll have to keep you guys posted as Bungie haven't announced anything just yet. For season stuff though, very briefly, the final weekly challenges have rolled out, Although if you haven't already, there is the Bright Dust Triumph available for finishing 75 season challenges before the end of season 18. But otherwise, the refresh on all season activities will happen as always on Tuesday. Onto playlists though, and for Vanguard, the featured Nightfall for the week will be Exodus Crash. And as always, there'll be the opportunity to earn the Nightfall weapon, which this week will be the Horrors Least. For the featured raid and dungeon rotation though, this week we'll see the Last Wish raid featured, as well as the Prophecy dungeon in the Legends tab. As always, these will both drop their unique items with updated power relevancy. Then also for playlists, Gambit will get bonus ranks all week long, so if you want to level up with Drifter, it'll be a good time to jump in. And otherwise, for the Crucible, Mayhem will return, and Trials will be back on Friday. Not sure when we'll get the next Iron Banner, but it'll quite possibly be in the next couple of weeks after Festival of the Lust is finished. Now though, let's get onto the Eververse store for the week. And for Bright Dust, we'll see the Retrograde Tora exotic ship. That one's going to cost 2,000 Bright Dust. And if you've been waiting for the Star Horse mask for Bright Dust, it'll be available this week as well. And it's going to cost 1,500 Bright Dust. And then we see the Moonrise Ghost Projection, which is 1,500 Bright Dust as well. And as always, the featured shader will be 300 Bright Dust. And this week it's Flower Child, which is a very colorful one for festival this year. Also this week, we're going to see the Buster Ray exotic emote. That'll be 3,250 Bright Dust, as well as the Hold Me multiplayer emote, which will be 1,250 Bright Dust. Onto a few of the exotic items though, and we'll see the Papercraft Erinea shell. That one will be 2,850 Bright Dust this week. Plus, we're going to see the Majestic Winnie, the exotic Star Horse Sparrow right there, which will be 3,000 Bright Dust. A bit more expensive than normal sparrows, but you know that one's going to be popular. And additionally, we'll see the Finch Mask, the mask ornament for the week, which will be 1200 Bright Dust. And the featured weapon ornament will be the Promethean Prelude, which is an ornament for Grand Overture here. A pretty cool one for 1250 Bright Dust. But the final Bright Dust item this week will be the Winged Nightmare Projection. A ghost projection there for 1500 Bright Dust. 
On to the lost sectors for the week, and on Tuesday's reset, the featured lost sector will be K1 Crew Quarters dropping exotic legs. And also this week on November 2nd, we'll get K1 Logistics dropping exotic gauntlets. November 3rd, we'll see K1 Communion dropping exotic chest pieces. And then for November 4th, it'll be Skydock in the EDZ dropping exotic helmets. And we'll see Scavengers Den on November 5th dropping exotic legs, followed by the Quarry on November 6th dropping exotic arms. And then for Monday, November 7th, we'll get Excavation Site dropping exotic chest pieces. For our final few items here though, in Dares of Eternity, in addition to Red Border weapons and the traditional Dares loot dropping this season, this week we'll see Rotation 3 loot drops, including the Gensum Knight Armor and the Kairos Function Armor set, as well as weapons from Season of the Worthy and Season of Arrivals. And then finally, in the Dreaming City, if you're completing Legacy stuff, the Ascendant Challenge this week will be the Forfeit Shrine, found via the Garden of Isilla. So if you want some location on how to find that one this week, we'll run the footage at the end of the video. But otherwise, guys, that rounds up everything we need to talk about regarding Reset this week. So, as always, I hope the video has been useful, and if it has, a rating below really does help us out. Be sure also to get subscribed to the channel if you want to be kept up to date with everything related to the game. But otherwise, today, I appreciate you guys tuning in as always, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome week. down. you <laughs>